and just like that, I am back at the airport. And I need to apologize because I thought I'd have time to record one of these video diary entries every single day that we were here in Berlin on the ProVeg Kickstarting for Good incubator. But we have got through so much in the last few days and put so many hours in that uh, it's been hard enough just keeping on top of all the tasks we've been set, never mind you know, finding that extra time to record something like this. So um, I found a quiet corner at the airport and I thought it was just worthwhile kind of bringing you up to date on what's happened over the last couple of days. Uh, last night was absolutely lovely. So it, it was the, the sort of the end of the incubator. And um, one of the people on the incubator is Chef Dave and that's not me, <laughs> but go find him online. He's got, he's got an absolutely massive following um, on TikTok. He is a vegan chef from Malaysia. And so Chef Dave, he took over the communal kitchen last night and made just this absolutely amazing uh, vegan Malaysian and Asian food. And that's what we all had uh, to eat together. And then the ping pong table came out and then the, the alcohol-free beers and the beverages and everything else came out. So it was actually a really nice way to kind of socially uh, finish off the week. Um, Something else we did yesterday in the daytime, though, and, and this really got me. Um, we had to do a compliment exercise, so like a gratefulness exercise. So, so we were all given a pack of post-it notes, and we had to write down a compliment, so something that we appreciated about somebody else who was on the incubator, and then go put that post-it note on them and attach it to them. Um, now, I actually thought that I wouldn't get any because... I have purposefully, not, not being antisocial and not been keeping myself to myself, but I have been just so focused. I have spent every waking moment where we've not been in a workshop or, or listened to a lecture on the computer, getting the work done, sketching stuff out and things like that. So I, I've not particularly been socialising um, and maybe not making as strong as connections as, as some people have on the incubator. But people were coming up to me with post-it notes and that really got me. Uh, I've got a few of them here. Um, these are them all that people came and stuck on my on my t-shirt. Um, gosh, they're getting me now just looking at them. Look at this one. <laughs> Funny, smart, and charismatic, obviously. <laughs> I, was, I was surprised to get things like that. But we've got here, generous helper, uh, positive attitude. Um, David, I'm really happy to have met you. You are such a great guy. I think that was from... Uh, um, uh, from Chaba in, in, in Hungary wrote that one. Uh, positive attitude. Uh, this is another one. I, I might get this blown up and put on the wall. Look at that. The coolest, happiest and smartest. There we go. And it was just lovely. And it was just lovely to, to, to receive these sort of uh, compliments and to know that, yes, although I was there not socialising maybe as much as, as some people and, and, and kind of in my own little work bubble for a lot of it, that, uh, that it, it, it was still nice for... To, to make those connections and to have that impact on the other people who were there. So I'm, I'm kind of getting a little bit of emotion now just thinking about that. So, so that was really nice. Um, and that was a wonderful exercise to do because I was able to do the same to other people. I was able to write out um, some of the things I really appreciated of the people on the course and go just stick my post stick on those too. So, so that was a really nice thing to do. Um, we also had a little bit of a feedback session at the end where we sat in a circle and that just gave us the opportunity to give feedback to the, to the mentors and about the programme. And that was just overwhelmingly positive. Um, it was actually hard to come up with things that, that could have been improved upon. Um, although there were, and I found this actually really interesting, without naming any names, that, that there were a couple of uh, very minor comments of people thinking, uh, uh, people saying, um, a few things about the workload over the last few days. Um, that there perhaps wasn't enough time after you'd done one of the lectures of the workshops to actually then sit down and, and incorporate that into your idea and things like that. But, you know, the incubator itself, it was open from 8 a.m. in the morning until at least 6 o'clock at night. Um, and actually, uh, uh, poor Yasmin, who, who, who <laughs> was looking after the incubator that week, she did let it slip to me that she usually came in about half past seven in the morning. So last couple of days, I started coming in at half past seven in the morning as well, uh, just to get those extra hours. So I, I think when you're doing something like this, you have to appreciate that it is one week and you kind of have to also appreciate that, you know, ProVeg have invested in us doing this. 
it is a fully funded incubator. They've paid for everybody's flights from all over the world to come here. They've paid for our hotel accommodation for the week. They fed us breakfast every single day. Um, you know, they're, 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 they're paying mentors to come over and, uh, and be part of the incubator. I, I don't know how much this has cost them to do, but they're investing in us and they must have seen something worthwhile in us to make that investment. So I think, you know, the, the least that we can do is, is put that effort back in and, and appreciate that investment. So if that means um, that, that you're not working nine to five or, or eight to six, I mean, I was probably, I, I was getting up about five every day. Um, I was still working at 10 o'clock at night at least. Um, you know, and, and I think when you're on an incubator like this, yes, there's a social side to it. And yes, you, you, you may be in a, in a city that you don't know and you want to see some of that city, but, but we're here to work. You know, we're, we're really here to make things happen and to kind of pay back what ProVeg are investing in us. So, so I thought that was really interesting, just about, I think, the, um, the mindset that you need to bring to something like this to be able to actually get through all the work that you need to do in a week. Don't come thinking you're coming on a holiday. Don't think it's going to be a little bit of a jolly and a social. You know, you are here to work. And so the work that is given you is appropriate to that. So I thought that was really uh, uh, interesting as well. Um, I think one thing, one tip I'd also give, if you do manage to get on an incubator like this, ties into that idea of time and workload. So I mentioned that, that I was trying to come in as early as I possibly could, and I was staying as late as I possibly could as well. And what that meant was I got that little bit of extra access to some of the mentors, perhaps. So, you know, one morning I came in at half past seven and, and Sebastian, um, you know, who is the co-founder of ProVeg, um, was there as well, catching up on some work. And so, so that, that gave us an opportunity to have a little bit of a longer chat about um, the business model that we're looking to build at Vegan Business Tribe. And, and before I know it, we, we, we'd spent 30, 40 minutes around a whiteboard, um, you know, mapping out the business structure and, uh, and the funding options and things like that. Um, um, before the day had even started, you know, before breakfast had even been served. So I think just, just putting in that little bit of effort, getting there as early as you can, kind of fighting for that extra little bit of attention from, from the mentors and the tutors and, uh, and just really showing that, that you're keen to do what you're going to do, that, that really does pay back in spades. So, so I'm, I'm really glad that I got those couple of extra just, just, just little 30 minutes here with, with, with a mentor and, and things like that. So, so that was great as well. Um, also, you know, the quality of the mentors, I think I've already mentioned this on a previous video, but Sebastian is great. Uh, Tobias, uh, the other co-founder of ProVeg, um, just brings a real kind of different view to the vegan sector as a whole. But um, Shay Green um, was a great mentor as well. Uh, Shay, he is ex-Microsoft. He set up several very successful organizations, large organizations in the not-for-profit world as well. And so been able to just get a little bit of his time to kind of run over what we're planning. And he even mentioned to me that, um, you know, the idea of a vegan business school is something that he's had on his list of jobs to do maybe for the last like five years or something like that. So th th there was a lot of synergy there. And uh, Shay's based over in C Seattle. Um, I, I would love to get over there and spend a bit more time with Shay. Um, maybe just shadowing some of the things he does at his other organisations and, and getting his input. So, so that was really valuable as well. Um, and then on the last day as well, we all presented our ideas again. And this was fascinating because on the first day, everyone presented their ideas and it was just five minutes. Everyone stood up, you know, this is who I am. This is what I'm here to do. By the end of the week, on the final day, people weren't just standing up. Everyone had presentations. Everyone had PowerPoint presentations. And some people had, had uh, you know, some people have come on this incubator without any organization or company or, 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 or um, anything that they've previously built. They've just come with an idea. And by the end of the incubator, you know, everyone's got PowerPoint presentations and logos. So, so you know, there's so much work had been done um, over that week. And, and that was just brilliant to see because there's people working, you know, in the AI space, which is always fascinating. Um, we have people working in meta fundraising. So this whole idea that there's a, a, a very finite amount of funding available to, to the vegan sector and, uh, and you know, the, the um, diet change sector, as, as some people call it as well. So what new ways can there be to find more funding? So, so that's really really interesting initiatives around that whole idea of, of finding more funding as well. Um, one which I really um, resonated with myself was the Farming Transition Group. 
Um, now, this is three of the cohorts that have come together from separate companies to actually engage with farmers about transitioning to, to, to plant-based and moving away from animal agriculture and understanding that they need support as well. I think a lot of the farmers, they've been the victims of propaganda of the animal agriculture movement as much as anybody else. You know, they've been told that they are uh, doing their duty and it might be a grisly job that they don't always enjoy, you know, raising these animals and then having to send them off to slaughter, but, but they are feeding the country and they're, they're, they're doing um, this mission, that, that they are heroes and things like this. So I think actually looking to actually engage with farmers to um, help them move away from, from the animal agriculture sector, I think that's a really important job as well. So I'm really interested to see how much work they've done over the week. They, they, they've really got to, to, to a really great place. Um, so what happens next? And that's the big question, because um, we're now heading towards the mid-programme review. And I didn't quite appreciate how quick a turnaround that was going to be from doing this week into Berlin to then having to present our fully costed pitch deck um, to the ProVeg team. That's two weeks from now. Um, and I'm not even back on a plane yet. So, so that's got to be the next thing um, that I've got to get ready. And it's not just about presenting your idea, it's presenting about why you deserve to be funded. Because something which has really been drilled home to us with this ProVeg incubator is there is finite funding in our sector. And so if somebody funds your idea or your organisation, that's potentially another organisation that isn't getting funded. And that organisation might be having more of an efficient impact than you, than you are. So you've got to be really confident that what you're doing is value for money and it's going to make change. Um, you know, that one dollar in is going to give X amount back out again. So, so that's going to be the next thing um, that we've really got to look on now. And this is something that, that I didn't quite realise too, that there is now an expectation that perhaps only 50% of us are going to get through to the second half. Um, you know, with this midterm review and doing this presentation to the ProVeg team, half of us probably aren't going to make it. And that's quite hard to take because um, there are some great people on this incubator with some absolutely amazing ideas. And I think it's going to come down to just one how far those ideas have progressed. So how far away are they from actually being viable and launching? And um, two, maybe just down to, um, I don't know, down to what their funding requirements are maybe, um, down to just how feasible that the mentors from ProVeg think these ideas are gonna to be to get off the ground? Is it just wishful thinking or, or, or can we show an absolutely clear route to, 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 to doing what we're gonna do? Um, so yes, yeah, so, so that came as a little bit of a surprise when, when I found that out that um, we're not all coming back for the second week. And I would be gutted. I would be absolutely gutted if I didn't make it back, if I didn't get through to the second half because I, I really want this now. And um, you know, it, it's already been amazing. And this is part of the feedback I get, that just the pre-program, which I, sh I shared lots of video entries with you about the tasks that we were set on doing, that completely turned around my idea of what Vegan Business Drive is and what Vegan Business Drive should be. This week in Berlin has done that again. Um, you know, especially that, that 30, 40 minute um, session that I spent one-on-one -on -one with Sebastian, just going through the business model and basically our revenue model. Um, that set me off in, a, in, in another direction that I'll do a separate video on as well. And so it's been so worthwhile been here. I've learned so much. But it's also just spending time with the people who've already done this. Um, Sebastian Tobias with, with ProVeg. ProVeg is a multi-million dollar um, not-for-profit. Um, with Shea and, and, and the companies that he set up. Uh, again, very large not-for-profit not organisations. Uh, Matthew Glover was, was um, with us this week as well for part of it. And, and you know, what he's done with Veganuary and VegCap and everything else. And just spending time with these people and saying, actually, yes, this is normalising it now. There is no reason that we can't build Vegan Business Tribe to the same level of some of those organisations. That's really been probably more worthwhile than anything else. And it's, it's advice that I give to you at Vegan Business Tribe is, you know, is, is surround yourself with people 
who are doing the thing that you want to do because it just normalizes it. It makes you realize that actually it is within your grasp. And so that's been just probably one of the most worthwhile things that I've got out of this incubator so far. And so if I don't get to come back and do the second half, gosh, I am going to be gutted. I'm going to be absolutely gutted. Anyway, right, so I've got a flight in about two hours back to the UK. Um, I haven't seen my wife and daughter for over a week and a half. Uh, so that's going to be first priority when I get back. I, I, I heard last night from Lisa that Arwen actually has uh, more teeth now than when I left. So that's going to be interesting just, just to catch up with her. So I've got a couple of days with, with, with nothing in the diary and we're just going to spend time together as a family. Uh, hopefully go out on a, on a day trip somewhere and just spend some time together. That'll be absolutely lovely. But then it's got to be back into it because it's two weeks until the midterm review, two weeks until I've got to present Vegan Business Tribe with a fully funded, uh, sorry, a fully costed plan and uh, uh, um, roadmap that, that we're going to be able to achieve over the next few months. Um, and that happens in two weeks. And, and what I really want to do is I want to get it to them early. So um, this was something one of the mentors mentioned, that if we were to get our slide deck finished and sent over as soon as possible, they'd give us some feedback and maybe tell us if anything needed changing. And so I think that is kind of, with so much feeling like it's at stake at the moment, I think that's something that I would be a fool if I didn't um, take full advantage of that too. Right, so I need to go check the um, checking board. Hopefully my flight's not been called and, well, I can spend another week here in Berlin if it has. Um, but thank you so much. And um, what I'm probably going to do is I think I'll put all of these onto an omnibus edition for kind of the first half of the incubator, maybe put that on the podcast as well. So if you have been following uh, this along quite ad hoc and just doing uh, one or two here or there, uh, maybe you'll be able to watch or listen to all these in one go. Right, thank you so much for following me. Um, I've had a lot of good feedback about these. Uh, more people are watching these than I realise. Uh, and so hopefully it's doing what I wanted it to do to actually be useful to you and give you information and let you come through and benefit from this incubator as I go through it too. So uh, nearly halfway. Let's keep going. See you later. <laughs>